Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, Selenko Hyper G Round. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so Hyper G is a top seven string in the nation, top selling. Now, why is that? It's soft, it's easy on the arm, it's square, it's easy for spin, it plays really well. Did I mention it's soft? But I would say a top, um, a top reason why it's popular is because it's green, right? We know when the string is on somebody's racket because we know it's fluorescent green, right? Now, my buddies at Selenko had me test these out about six months ago and we actually loved this string. So instead of being square, it's now round. What happens when a square string becomes round? They ate too much. No. <laughs> now you lose the edges, right? So when a square is shaped, it's easier to spin the ball and it benefits the people who hit with more top. When you round it off, you force the string not to move as much because there's more contact in the strings, therefore forcing you to hit through the ball a little bit. For those people who want to hit through the ball a little bit and don't want it to snap as much, basically a little bit more for control. Those people prefer a round string. And to me, I believe that um, a round string holds tension a little bit better too. Uh, just from my experience though. But so we got finally the finished product here. Hyper G round 17, Hyper G round 16. What's missing? Coach Chris, what's missing? Coach Chris, what's missing? 16L? 16L. What? What? Oh, we used it. Hey! <laughs> 16L 55 on mine, 16L 52 on yours. What's it look like? Green. It looks like Hyper G, my man. Hyper G. Because <laughs> it's green. You were halfway right. You're like my kid in math. You only get half right. Well, you know it's hyper G if it's green. That's it. Yeah. You just know it's hyper G if it's this, green. This is true. That's it. Now, I know how hyper G feels, usually. Mm -hmm. And I, I kind of remember how this feels. You've never tried it. Mm -hmm. So, ready to go? Yeah. Let's go. All right, nice hitting coach. Ooh. No. Here, hit mine. Who's tighter? Yours. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously. All right, Hyper G, round. What'd you think? Um, I played with the old Hyper G. Um, well, the ones that were kind of been on shelves for a while longer uh this one i got the feeling that i had 
like a lot more power through when I'm hitting through the shot. So if I were to go for it, hitting with a little bit more flatness, this definitely was the one to go for. For someone who's a very an aggressive baseliner, um, it feels good. And obviously, as Hyper G strings goes, this string is easier on the arm compared to all the other strings. So if those of you who are looking to kind of take bigger swings, this string would be the one for you to go and try out. Um, it's rounder, right? I think yeah, that's it's what a round. Saying. Yeah, not square. Yeah, so you don't really get as much snapback, but in that trade-off sense, you do get that power and that plow through. So definitely check this one out over at Slinka. I actually prefer this one more than the square. As you guys, mm. as you guys know, I'm not a Hyper G fan, although it's like a top 10 string in the world. Um, I play tested this before, and I was one of the people who said, yeah, guys, make it. And guess what happens? They listened. They listened. For once. Nobody listens to me. What the heck's going on here? But I guess because I said I liked it, they made it. I hope it's a good decision, Salinko. But I like it. <laughs> so good tension maintenance, guys. I actually didn't feel much of a drop off in the uh, one hour and a something time that we've been out here with this string. Uh -huh. um, I like it, actually. It made me hit through the ball a little bit more. It wasn't as, I mean, I felt like it was a little firmer, but I like it firm. I'm sure over a little bit more time, it's gonna drop off a little bit. I also string at 55 pounds, so, you know, I don't recommend that for you guys, but because, you know, I like it tight and I like it crisp and I like the you know, hard punishing, arm breaking tightness that I like, I just like 55, okay? I know I know people are gonna ask that question. You have 55 with a pulley? Okay. But it's softer. Hyper G is yeah, known to be for softer. Sure. So for I sure. think the I think it's actually kind of cool that they did it with the rounder. They listened to Harry for once. Because then again, when you're trying to hit harder and through, mm -hmm. that's the first thing that comes to mind is you get those elbow pain. Uh, but this allows you to just take those big cuts. Yep. You know, with a Soft strings. Yep, that's true. My arm don't hurt. Look at that. <laughs> and I was able to hit through the ball, right? Like, yeah. and it wasn't sloppy. That's the thing. I just, I don't know why that word's coming to mind. I just, I've crisp, tension, holding, um, you know, I, I just like the way this feels. That, that's all, that's all the, the only way I can describe it. I, per, I usually like harder, firmer strings like a confidential or, I mean, even a Torbite sometimes. And, and that's why this is usually not um, on my list. But when you round it out, it becomes more rounded and it rounds off your game. So that's why we go with round. You're round. I am actually. All right, <laughs> guys, check it out. Seriously, it's a great string. Um, I, I mean, I personally like it more than the square Hyper G. Um, try it out. If you're a Hyper G fan and you're an all court player, uh, kind of not, not too spinny, um, kind of con not continental, semi Western kind of grip that you want to hit through the ball a little bit more. This will be your string. I. I guarantee it. All right, kind of like Coach Chris here, even though he's not so round. He's edged and rough. I'm round. All right, Coach Chris, where can we find you? You can find me at CB Chan Tennis. And that's it for the round. Guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Hey, Coach Chris. Hey. You string tennis rackets? That's right. We'll make a little extra cash. Sure. You know, with direct tennis, you can be the official stringer of your own neighborhood. You can set the distance, you can set the meeting place, and you can set the timing. So I can string on a street corner? You can set your own place. It's all at direct tennis where they put players with stringers and stringers with players. Check them out at directtennis.online. Link is below.